Hey, Diana, thanks a lot for taking the time to be interviewed on this podcast. There's been some people who watch the channel that have requested you on here after seeing your abilities with jump rope and everything you've been able to do on your Instagram channel. So thank you for joining. Thank you very much. Well, I'd like to thank you for actually inviting me to be on. Um, I'm, I'm honored. I really am. Um, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm looking forward to our conversation and learning, learning a lot from you. And the first thing I'd like to know is how did you get started with jump rope? What got you involved in jumping rope? Right. Well, there's a story behind that. And the story basically is that um, I used to run, um, like you just said earlier, when I was just chatting before you started the podcast that um, you'd done your, your, your nine mile run today. Um, I used to run at like an average of six miles a day and I'd, I'd done it for years and years. And like running was my, well, my nat nat natural ant antidepressant actually. That's that I, it's like I get the feel good factor from cardio. I love cardio. Um, so this in, tw in 2017, no, at the end of 2016, it was December, 2016, um and we were me and my husband were at the gold's gym um in arlington and i i was running on a treadmill and um the treadmill was wonky the belt was wonky and like an idiot i didn't get off the treadmill and go on like another treadmill i, I did my six miles on the treadmill and i injured my hip so basically what we do in in the winter time apart from this winter due to COVID, we usually spend it in Barbados. Um, that's actually where I met my husband 10 years ago. So we got back to Barbados after Christmas and um, I still couldn't run. Um, I was still like the hip really was bad. Um, and we used to go to this gym there. Um, it, it was a hotel gym, but we used to spend like five months of the year in Barbados. So we we joined this gym, it was part of this hotel. So the, this, this one particular day, there was just me and my husband in the gym and I was struggling for stuff to do because I, I kept going on the treadmill and walking and trying to run and just thinking, oh, you're like, die, you're just, you're just making things worse. Mm -hmm. um, I did the rowing machine, that doesn't cut it for me. Um, I I'd basically finished my workout and I was like, just you know, waited for my husband to finish doing whatever he was doing. And I just sort of looked around the gym and uh, I just spotted this rope. And it basically was a rope, not a rope with handles. It was a, the big rope with a knot at each end. And because there was nobody else in the gym, it was only me and my hubby, um, I just thought I'd have a go with it. If there had been anybody else in the gym, I wouldn't be jumping today because I would not have embarrassed myself. <laughs> and I just... I just thought, can I do this? And I just started doing it. And it's funny because like, I'm, I'm pretty sure as a child, I possibly at some point did own a skipping rope, but I don't remember being good at skipping. And in fact, when I think back to my younger days when I was at school, I really was rubbish at anything sports related. Um, I just didn't like it. I, I, I didn't like sports because I was basically not very good it's like we had a hockey team and a netball team and I never ever got picked to go on them because I couldn't throw a ball or catch a ball um I hated gymnastics I even hated running at school it's really it's really weird because then after I left school and like years down the line I suddenly enjoyed doing you know the running and what have you anyway just to get back to how I started doing the rope so like I say I picked this rope up and I was having fun with it and I was tripping up and then I was like oh can I maybe um do 20 without making a fool of myself and I'm sure my form I'm, I'm, I must have been jumping about this high off the ground I reckon yeah. arms out here because um, yeah. the rope was really long um but I was enjoying myself and like my husband like looked over and he's a, he's a Stuart's always happy if I'm happy and obviously I have this big smile on my face and I'm like, oh, you know, I feel like a kid here. <laughs> so um, later on that day, we we went up to like the, our local shopping mall, the, the Sheridan Centre, and just pop, bought a cheap rope, a, a, like a, a PVC one. It had, um, the handles actually had ball bearings in them. So it, was, it wasn't too bad. I and mean, it wasn't really that cheap because 
anything that you buy in Barbados is three times what it would normally cost on Amazon here. But it was it, but it, it worked for me. Um, and the funny thing is, um, when we got back to our place that evening, uh, I like unpacked the rope. And I was just so excited to use the new rope, like a proper skipping rope. So like I, I tied a, a couple of knots in it because it was really long. And then for some reason, I mean, like, so literally I'd only, I'd only picked up a rope earlier at the gym. And that's my first experience. And for some reason, I don't know why I wanted to try doing a crossover. You know, instead of like trying to just learn your normal basic bounce, which I didn't even know it was called basic bounce at the time. Oh, yeah. It was just jumping rope. Um, so I literally for half an hour, I tried to do these crossovers and I managed to get a few and I was so excited and, and like for, for every crossover I did, I whipped myself about, I failed at least 20 times, yeah. but I was having fun until I got in the shower later on and I noticed that my back, <laughs> this is so funny, oh my God, my back, it was like I'd, I'd whipped myself it was like, it, it, it really was, I was, I was really, I, I was absolutely, I was mortified because I thought if these welts don't go down in the morning, I, co I can't go on the beach tomorrow because like they're gonna, they're gonna think that I'm into something, you know, that I'm not into, if you know what I mean. It really was oh, like yeah. Stuart looked, he went, oh my God, he said, I, I hope they've disappeared because like people think I've been beating you. Um, <laughs> So, That's hilarious. but from that moment, like I was just, I was hooked. Um, it was like I'd found something to replace my running. And also, I felt, um, and this wasn't like immediately, it was after I'd been doing it for a few days. I, I just felt, and, and because I've, I seem to be picking it up quite easily, I finally, I just thought to myself, you know something? After all these years, I finally found something that I'm good at. Um, you know, I've, I've, I don't particularly think I've been good at anything. I mean, I'm really good at putting myself down and I always have been. You know, it's like, I'm, I'm not one of these people that's like, oh, I'm really good at this. It's like running. I was, I, I was good at running, uh, but I, I never competed. I never, I didn't do any, I never ran any races. I didn't do anything. I, I, I used to run because running made me feel good inside. And it, it, it got my happy factor going. It, when I was feeling down, it made me feel better. Um, but anybody can run. I think anybody can run, but not anybody, not everybody can pick up a, a jump rope and, and jump rope. And I, I just thought, I found something I'm good at. And I was, I was just over the moon, really. Yeah. I, I just, yeah. I don't, I, don't know, I, I don't know how you felt when you sort of like picked up the rope for the first time, but it's, I just got this feeling. Yeah, it's a great thing. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've, I felt kind of the same way. Some people pick it up faster than than others. And I think you're exactly. right that, that anybody can get really good at running. I think that a, a lot of people are more naturally coordinated than than others and that it might take some other some people yeah. more time to to get good at because there is so much coordination in, involved yeah. in jumping rope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's what it is. I think what also helps, or I think what helped me, is like, I like dancing. And I don't mean I go out dancing, um, cause like, yeah, I might have gone out dancing in my twenties, but like, um, that's, that's a long time ago. But yeah. I, around the house, you know, I, I put my music on, my dance music, and there's nobody watching and I just, I just go for it. And I just think, cause I like dancing, um, it's like dancing and jumping rope to me. I'm not jumping rope. I'm dancing with my rope. Ah, yeah. That's what it feels like. Um, I used to. So so when it's so obviously like I'm new to all this, um, and I just thought I need, I want to learn stuff now. So I went on YouTube. YouTube is just brilliant. So I found this. I went on and I found. Um, she's called Sarah Solomon, I think. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she did. She just some well. She did some tutorials like for the basic bounce. Yeah. So I learned the basic bounce from her. You know, like just jumping, trying to jump. You know, low to the ground. And she also was good about sizing the rope because it really helps to have your rope size, doesn't it? 
Yeah, if absolutely. you rope scoot, if you rope, when you start off, you want a longer rope because your arms are usually like not not so much out here, but they're not where they should be. Um, but she, from knowing that the rope had to be sized correctly, that that was really helpful to me. And especially because like I decided that I wanted to, you know, the rope I'd got in Barbados was only okay. I wanted something that was better. You know what I mean? It, yeah. it was only okay that one. And what funnily enough, what I did was um, I researched the ropes and I actually, I went on Amazon and I ordered the cross ropes. Mm. Um, but I didn't at, so I ordered them and I think I ordered the small size and I can't even remember which set I'd ordered, but there was just something niggling me like, right. So small, hmm, like I'm five foot four, but like, you know, you could put me next to somebody else that's five foot four and like my legs are up to here and I've got very short waisted and my, I'm all legs. It's like my sister, I'm taller than my sister. But when we sit down, she's taller than me because she's all body and got tiny legs. So I'm just thinking, oh. you know, like, just, I just don't think that, you know, they're expensive, these ropes, and I'm, on, I'm new to this. Do I really want to spend this amount of dollars on something that might not work for me? So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. So I, 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 I logged back into Amazon and just I cancelled the order before it shipped. Um, and then I found the buyjumpropes.net site. Yeah, they're fantastic. Um, yeah. yeah, and all my ropes now, have, have, all my ropes apart from um, the unconventional games one, um, Sonny. Oh yeah, yeah, Sonny, yeah. Sonny, mm -hmm. oh, she, she's like one of my heroes. Yeah. I, I, she's got, she's fabulous. Mm -hmm. Oh God, she really is. And she, she brought her own ropes out. So I got, I got the, I got a couple of ropes from her um but all the rest of them basic and i think i ended i think i got a punk rope as well once and um, that's somewhere back in arlington but yeah, i basically sure i basically just I, st I stuck with buy jump ropes the great yeah yeah buy jump ropes there i mean overall i think my two favorite ropes are is the first one is the one that that sarah solomon uses the buddy lee rope master and then yeah. the oh, other I got, one, I, yeah. I, I, I got that one. Now, mm -hmm. um, and I got like, she did like a pink version. Yes. So, yeah. so I got the pink version. In fact, yeah, I got that one before I got the, the buy jump ropes. Um, I, liked how it, I liked how it moved and everything, but I wasn't so keen on the cord, how you had to put it in a pan of water. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah. So I did, I did use that one, but then when I discovered like the boxes training rope, um, that just... It's, it's really weird because like, you know, I used to go to the gym and um, people must have like looked at me and thought, God, it, right, how many ropes has she got? Because I'd literally, I'd, I'd use all my ropes, I'd, I'd, the heavy beaded, I'd, I'd work my way through all my ropes. And now, at four years down the line, I just have these two now. Ah, yeah, so, those are good. Yeah, that's my boxers training. And this, this one is, it's the white freestyle cable, but as I mentioned when I spoke to you last time, I can't hold the um, the elites. I can't hold the elite surge handles, the thin ones, because that, that's 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 as good as it gets with this hand. Mm -hmm. But I can I can hold onto these because yeah. this is this is my favourite cable. It's great for speed, and I can also do tricks with it. Um, mm. wow. But they they're my two. I just have two go to rubs now. Although I still do sometimes use the, I think I think it's one of your favorites, the Freestyle Pro with the oh, longer yeah. hand. Yeah, that's my other favorite. Yeah, that's the that yeah. Elite SRS Pro Freestyle. Yeah, yeah great yeah. rope. Yeah, yeah, that's that's great for doing like so doing the EB with with these handles, not so good, but doing with the other one, no problem. Yeah, you're exactly yeah. right. Yeah, that yeah. those longer handles let you get more maneuverability. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then the, yeah. the cable is is short is less thick too. Yeah, so yeah. Four millimeter versus the five, so that really helps out. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, I must. Um, although I must admit, I love I love the feel of the five millimeter one. I, th I think I think the cable that um, the unconventional gains one 
I think that was a six millimeter. And to be honest, like just for just for like one extra millimeter, I remember using that first at the gym, and um, oh, it kicked my ass. Okay. Like, oh, it really did in a really good way, you know. Mm -hmm. um, just made a, a huge difference. Yeah. yeah. I've never used that. I'll have to try that. I've never used, yeah. I mean, I, I've normally stuck with the, either the four or five millimeter or the thick yeah. heavy ropes from cross rope or the Muay yeah. Thai rope from Elite SRS. So I'll have to try yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, need, I nearly got one of the, the um, what's it, the Muay Thai, Muay, I can't say the word, the Muay Thai one. Yeah, yeah, was, you got it, that's right, yeah. Yeah, thai, yeah. I, need, I nearly got that one, but you, do you, right, to shorten it, do you have to like knot it because you, you can't really alter the length, can you? Yeah, you really, you really can't do anything. You have to, it's a lot like the cross rope, except yeah. it's even more restrictive and that there's three sizes that they have. So yeah. there's the small, medium and large. Yeah. And, and I got yeah. the small one because I'm about five, five. So it, yeah, that, that works with it. But if you tie a knot in those, I mean, it's going to make it too short. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cause it's because yeah. it's too thick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a 12 yeah. millimeter, 12 millimeter cord. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's, it's pretty, I've used it a couple of times after, after getting it and it's it definitely it's a good workout it's really awkward but in a good way yeah. it makes you concentrate on your footwork quite a bit yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. so what was the so when you first started you mentioned you were doing crossovers in the beginning was that the first real untraditional or unconventional move you learned after you started doing the basics yeah it wasn't and it's really weird because I'm, I'm i'm trying to think why why did i suddenly think I'll try crossovers. I think it's because crossovers look cool, and I just yeah. wanted to. I wanted to, yeah. I wanted to do a cool move, mm -hmm. and I. I actually became. This is really. Fun, oh, this was funny. This. I joined. I joined the jump rope fitness community on Facebook, and when I joined, I think there was about seven thousand members now. Oh yeah, yeah. I have no idea how many members they've got now because. I, I, I just I couldn't tell you but they, I, I have no idea but they really it's like it just it so took off and I used to like post videos uh, I used to like watching other people's videos but I I, I became known as the crossover queen because it's funny it's like what, <laughs> it's great once I could do them and do them consecutive I had this idea where right I need to how many can do unbroken um so like I'd I, you know, I always like like breaking my personal best so I, I can do 100 and I can do 200. I think the, mo the most I got on, on video was 474. And the most I got where I wasn't on video was at the World Gym here a few years ago. And I did 1,000. Ooh, 1,000. And, and now I don't, I don't bother counting. And the same was with, with double unders. When I finally managed to crack double unders, which was... I never thought I'd get double unders, um, but when I finally cracked them, uh, the most I got was 199. 100, and how long ago was that? That's probably a couple of years, you know, cause like, like I said, now, yeah. now what I do is, I just like getting my rope, put my earbuds in and dancing for 20 minutes. In yeah. fact, I do, I, do, I do it in five minute segments. So I'll set my watch for, for time for five minutes and I'll, and I'll start off five freestyle and then I switch to my other rope for five and then I switch back to this one and then I switch back to that one and I some I, I try to limit myself to 20 minutes because if I do more than 20 minutes I get injured you know it's like I don't know about you when you first started jumping but when I first started doing it I thought I was invincible and I just thought you know what I'm, I'm a runner I'm really fit um and I don't get injured in fact when, when I used to run I never, I'd never even used to stretch before I went running. I literally, I'd put my trainers on, put my gym stuff on. When I lived in the UK, I ran outside. So I'd be like out the door, go for my six mile run, come back, or maybe play a few stretches and then that's it. So when I started doing the rope, I'm thinking, oh, <laughs> I've, I've never stretched and form roll, so I don't need to do this. And the funny thing was that it, the, my body let me go for seven whole days. So seven days of doing the rope when I first started. And I'm thinking, God, I feel great. <laughs> day, hey, listen, day number eight, I couldn't walk. Oh. My calves, my shins, my knee. 
I ended up, I was injured and then I couldn't do it for two weeks. Oh. So, so you'd think that after that, oh, you've learned your lesson now. But no, once, once the, the worst thing was my calf. It, it was like I'd pulled something in my, in my right calf. So then when that calmed down and I, and I literally, I, I, had to, I had to wait a couple of weeks and it was, it was torture because I was like, oh God, I, I, want, I want to jump, I want to jump and I can't. Um, and I went and did it again. I overdid it. And it, it, I reckon it took me at least two years to start listening to my body and start saying, you know what? If I want to jump rope f- frequently and not have to have like a week off, two weeks off because I'm injured, because I've been silly and I've injured myself, yeah. you know, start foam rolling, start stretching, you know, start being sensible. And I did, and I do now. So, you know, um, I must admit, I, I, I still don't do anything before I jump rope, but after I foam roll, a stretch um, because it, it's you know you get these injuries and um, it's just really it's it's just strange because I I initially thought well you know I, I run these legs are really strong I run but you really you, you're using different muscles aren't you when you're jumping yeah, around it's all yeah. your car it's your calves and oh yeah, yeah. Mm. so what so you talked a little bit about your recovery so what exactly does your stretching and your recovery look like how often do you do it and what are the specific stretches and that you incorporate into your recovery yeah well so after doing the rope like i have a foam roller so first of all i'll 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 roll my calves out so i'll roll both of my calves out and then i'll then i'll put one leg over the other leg and and concentrate on one leg and then do on the other side, then I'll do like my thighs. Um, and then like I'll lay down on my mat and like I'll bring one leg up and I'll and I I roll out my shins. Mm-hmm. And then I do I do this one where you sort of like you you're on one knee and yeah, like one knee and I'll, I'll like be stretching my hip flexors because my hips have been can play up if I don't stretch my hips out. Yeah. In fact, just when, when I started doing the double unders, I really did mess my hip up because I'm sure like everybody who starts doing double unders, I did the donkey kick. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and because I could finally like do a double under, I went crazy trying to do them. And um, like, I could hardly walk because like my, my uh, left hip just went. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, the hips are, that that can be a tough one because I know yeah. I've had not. Yeah. I don't think I've had real issues, but I mean, it definitely hurts sometimes if you don't yeah. use the foam, foam yeah. roller like that. The foam roller really helps. Yeah. I do the foam roller as well, and and mm. I do the massage. I have two massage guns that two companies right. actually actually sent me to yeah. to review on the channel. So. So now I just use those massage guns that, that those companies sent me along with the foam roller and that's yeah. normally good good to go. Yeah. 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 It's like I said, I never used to do any stretching or anything. In fact, my daughter, she always like used to say to me, Mom, she says like, you can't just stop exercising. You're supposed to stretch. And I say, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You and, gotta... okay. Yeah. yeah, you got to do it. You got to got to stretch yeah. and take time to do recovery, even though I yeah. mean, if you have if, you, if you're an athletic person and you, and you find I think it's when you find something you really like to do and, yeah. and you and it really resonates with you, then then recovering and taking yeah. a rest is the last thing on your mind. Yeah, yeah. You, you just don't want to do it. I, I can definitely understand that. Yeah. And so how long? So you mentioned double unders. Double unders are. They're a move that a lot of people struggle with and some people never yeah. get it. How long did it take you to, to get them and what was your process in getting them down finally? Well, it took me nearly 12 months. So I think it was wow. the 30th, I, I, I remember these dates like, so the 30th of December that year when I, from like, that was 2017. So I'd, I'd nearly been jumping 12 months. I finally managed to string two together i think about a month earlier i've managed to maybe do one but you know the funny thing is with double unders um it's like one day i could do them 
and when I said do them, managed to do one, you know, a few jumps and then one double under with the donkey kick. Um, and then the next day, it's like my brain had forgotten. It didn't know what it was doing because double unders really are tricky. In fact, I thought I thought I'd never get them. And I even said to myself, you know what, if I, if, I, if, I, if, I never, if I never get them, I'm not bothered. But after getting in, you said to yourself, oh, yeah, I really would have been bothered if I couldn't get them. Because it, you <laughs> yeah, feel like you have right. them to heaven. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would look, I'd go on YouTube and, like, watch people's tutorials. And there's all sorts of, like, root stuff you can do, like, um, like there's something like you jump and, like, double tap. I tried that. No, nothing. Um I think I finally, it finally clicked and I can't remember whose tutorial I was watching. I haven't got a clue, um, you know, memory's not good, my age. <laughs> um, but this person said, do like five normal jumps and then one double under. And th this, is to, this is to like try and string them together. So it's like five bounce, 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 double under, and then do, um, five more and then two double unders and then and then three double unders and that's how that's how I learned to string them together. Um yeah. Yeah. and 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 then from and it's yes and, and from that and and then I could literally just do like start and do like one bounce and then double under double under double under. But the one thing that was really strange I couldn't like when I was doing crossovers I'd count um and it's like I would count as my arms cross as one. So it's like one, two, three. I couldn't count double unders because my brain was saying um, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so That's so like, so first of all, it's like, I wanted to count. So I had to video myself so I could look after and just see how many I've done because the yeah. brain could only, as soon as, I, as soon as I stopped going like one, two, one, two, one, two, I just messed up. Um, yeah. the, the, oh, this is so funny. Because the first time, um, I think it's, I think it's, we were at the Hilton Gym in Barbados, and um, I'm in like the little studio on my own, and I think that's when I managed to do a hundred double unders, and I got it on video. So after I did it, I like screamed out, "Oh my god!" I, like screamed <laughs> out, yeah, and, like. The guy Andrew, who's the manager, he, he thought I was having a heart attack. Oh my goodness! <laughs> he, he said, "I'm so." I think mean, he was going. He was ready to get the different related thing. Oh, <laughs> I said, wonderful. "I'm just excited because I've I've like got another personal best." Yeah. Wow, that is yeah, that's yeah. hundred in a row. I mean, if yeah. you can do a hundred, if you can do a hundred double unders in a row, not only are you you're you're in good cardio shape, but you're also yeah. very skilled because you're not going to be able to do that many double unders in a row by either kicking your feet. No. Direction. no. It's just not going to happen because yeah. You're, yeah. you're going to get too tired. Yeah. When you finally, it's really, it's like I, I, like I used to video, I, I used to video myself so I could see what my form was like and not just double unders, but doing other stuff like just to see, you know, what are my arms to out. In fact, I did notice that on doing the crossovers, one of my legs used to kick back more. And right. now I've like, the, you know, I can, I can do the crossovers and ba basically I don't have the one donkey kick. Um, but you know, it's good, it's good to video yourself and then look back and think, mm, you know, right, I'm doing that wrong and what can I improve on? But with the double unders, it was good to see that how I used to do them. And then when my form became good, where yeah. you only jump in a tiny bit off the floor, and because um, you really think when you think you've got to jump really high, don't you, for the rope to go twice? Yeah. Um, my husband says that, like he loves the sound of the rope, uh, and he says like, but I love it when you're doing double unders. It's like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. it's, it's oh, just. Yeah. Yeah. Although I, I never, I never hear the sound because I've got my wireless earbuds in, and I'm just listening to Rufus De Sola, whoever I'm listening to, so yeah. I don't hear. I don't hear the rope. <laughs> yeah, it does have a nice ryth rhythmic sound to it. If you don't, I mean, a lot of times, it, it, I think the way that you describe learning it, I think, I do think that's the best way is doing yeah. five jumps and then yeah. one double under and then yeah. two. 
because I think if you can go from one to two, that's the yeah. biggest gain there because yeah. you're doubling what, what you've been able to do. Yeah. Two to three is good, but you're not doubling. Yeah. You're not yeah. doubling your, your best yeah. as, as far as that goes. So I think yeah. that's what you mentioned is I'm not surprised that you learned it that way because that's, I think that's yeah. the best way to learn it. Yeah. I, I just, I tried every way. And like I say, I was, I was ready to give up on it because I just thought, and I, and I just thought, you know, if, if I don't get them, I don't get them. I can do other stuff. Cause like, you know, I, I, I decided that I couldn't just stick to basic bounds. I had to learn, I had to learn all the different steps as well. And I did. So in the beginning, I, you know, the, the, strat, the forward straddle, the side straddle, the skiers from side to side, which that was a move that I loved doing. Oh, I loved it until my ankle went because I overdid it. Because that's me. I find something. And I, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, the, so the ankle went. And then, then I was doing the high knees. Then I had hip problems. Yeah. <laughs> then I was yeah. doing the butt kicks and that the hips didn't like that. Mm. Um. My, my favorite step, and I found this was hard to get, was the boxer step. Oh. Um, but but that's what that's all I do now. I only, I only I just do boxes. I, I do boxer step, and I'm dancing in boxer step. I don't bother doing the high kicks and stuff. I can do them, and, and if I'm at the gym, you know, when I used to go to the gym when we didn't have COVID, you know, I, I might throw a few in just, you know, to show off really. <laughs> because <laughs> it's really it's really funny it's like you know you can yeah. you can go to the gym and you can be on the check treadmill and you could be running it oh my god god knows what miles an hour and you could be doing it for two hours but nobody's going to really look at you but you get your rope out and you can see people like slyly looking and then then when you see the looking the light look away um but there's something about seeing somebody at the gym that can do the rope it's it's that I find that and watching somebody on the speed bag is just. Yeah, those are both really yeah. good skills. You're right about the jump rope and the speed bag, but you're right about yeah. jump rope. People, some people will come up to you and ask you. I yeah. mean, it all seems like a distant memory just because of yeah. the pandemic. I mean, I, I like you, I haven't been mm -hmm. inside of a gym since early 2020. So it's been yeah. almost a year. At this, yeah. At this yeah. 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 But yeah, people so, will come up to you and talk to you about it and. It's a good opportunity to tell yeah. them about the benefits of jump rope. Yeah. 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 I, 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 yeah, it, yeah, that's true. Um, the gym that we used to go to in Arlington, um, it's like a, it's the one at Ballston. It's a massive gym and it's like nobody would, add, up, up until jumping rope, nobody would even look at you, sort of thing. Um, but there was this one guy that used to, in fact, there were two people approached me and asked me about the jumping. Um, and I just thought, oh, yeah, I, I used to like, in fact, one guy was asking me um, like tips for double unders, which I'm not very good at giving tips. It's like, I can, I can just sort of do them, but I can't really explain how I'm doing them. Um, but the funny thing is the gym here in Bethany, it's a small gym. Um, and there's, there's a lot of older people because there's a lot of like retired people live in the community. And um, I've, I've missed that gym last year. Because um, when I started doing my rope there, I got like a little fan club. <laughs> and loads of people, it's so, so a really friendly gym, you know. Yeah. Um, and like, there was one guy who just said, oh, you make my day when you come in. I, I only come to the gym now to watch you jump. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's, that's, um, that's really yeah. great. It, is, it does have a good way of bringing people together as well yeah, yeah. even if even if the person isn't participating because it is entertaining yeah. and inspirational to watch someone yeah. with skills yeah yeah uh, do you know i th i think that in the four years that i've been doing it i've noticed um more people more people are picking up the rope now aren't they i, mean, yeah. so I know noticed like at the gym at the gym in arlington i used to use the group st studio because um they had a fabulous suspended wooden floor and i used to love jumping in there so you know i w went from just me jumping in there to like other people i'd see other people with the rope and i, I used to think oh i i, I liked it i like I, I like to think that i inspired them to do it i mean i probably yeah. didn't they probably used to do it and like they did it when i wasn't there but <laughs> there are definitely i see more people doing the rope 
Yeah, I think people, it's getting more popular just, I yeah. think because of social media and, and yeah. how connected people are, all the, all the people who do jump rope are posting about it. Yeah. So I think that's helping. And I, I mean, I think there are people who do enjoy running, Yeah. but I think that running is something that a lot of people would rather not do, but it's a necessary, it's for lack of better words, a necessary evil. And it is a good way yeah. to manage weight and to strengthen yeah. your cardiovascular system but people are finding it as a good alternative to, to running as well yeah and you know and it's, i mean especially for like people my age yeah you still need to be doing some form of weight bearing exercise for your bones um and doing the rope is it's less stressful on your bones than than running i mean over the years like i've um i've sort of ruined my knees i have arthritis in especially my, my right knee. I have them gel shots to yeah. try and keep me mobile. But, um, you know, it's like the running. If, if, I, discover, if I hadn't discovered the rope, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be running now, I know. And it's like, I'd be, I'd be really, I'd be miserable because I loved running. You know, the thing about running, um, my feel-good factor would kick in after 20 minutes and then I would just be like, oh. I could just go and go on and go on, um, and, I, and and when I and when I couldn't do it anymore, I re, I, I, I really missed that. So if I'd not have found the rope, um, I, I just I feel that I was just meant to find that rope that day in the gym. I, just, yeah. I, I believe some things are just meant to be, but the funny thing is, um, like the cardio, I get my feel good factor from that. It's like my natural antidepressant, and I and I always say to people. You know, I used to get this buzz from running, but now, you know, I get that buzz as soon as I pick up my rope. So literally the feel good factor starts as soon as I start my, as soon as I've done the first jump. In fact, before the first jump, I've got my, I've got my earbuds in, music's cranked up, put my timer on and then just start swinging the rope. And I'm like, I'm, I feel like a kid. Yeah. You know, it's, oh. it's fun. I love it. I absolutely, I love it. It's the, you know, just recently, I've discovered the hooping because I needed something else to do. Um, you know, COVID-19 got me into the hoops and I love hooping, but it's just not the same. Sure. I don't get the same buzz from swinging my hoop around and doing, and, and, and the thing with, the same with the jump rope, I'm sort of like, it's got the same philosophy, philosophy now with the, with the, with the hoops. It's like, I don't just want to swing it around my waist. I want to, so I can do, you know, I've had these four months, so I can do hip hooping, waist hooping, chest hooping, shoulder hooping, neck hooping. I can swing it off. I can swing it back on. I can swing it into the walls, into the ceiling. You know, thank heavens for magic erasers because, um, you know, they're, they're literally yeah. <laughs> But yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm learning all the moves with that, but it's not the same. It's I, I just don't get the same buzz as like so so like so for example today, I went outside and I jumped for twenty minutes, and it, I, I just it's hard to explain. I don't know if you get the same buzz, but and I don't know if other people get the same buzz, but I just really get a buzz from it. Um, yeah. It just makes me happy. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. You it 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 makes me feel more confident to be able to do the. Yeah rope skipping and I feel like yeah. I can get into my get into my zone really well and I do I do definitely enjoy it and with those yeah. with those five minutes so when you do so when you do your jumping you just do five minutes of uninterrupted jumping with with yeah. kind of like what you do on your Instagram channel with the different yeah. moves just continuously is that what you do yeah, I just, I, so I'm set up, I do the five minutes freestyle, the swings, the, I have my own little, it's, and it's really for everything. It's like, I don't think about what, where the rope's going. It, the, the break, my brain and my hands, they just, they, they, they just know what they're doing. I, I never think, I never think about moves now. It's, it's all, it must all be like muscle memory now because yeah. I don't even think about it. And I just do like, I do that for like five minutes, like double, like double under well like, like under twice crosses and I just I have these little routines in my head and then like turning around and and then when I when I change to this one my speed rope I'm basically just doing the um double unders and I'm just doing like 
the boxer stepping, you know, moving around the mat and what have you. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I mean, I was, when COVID struck, I was thinking to myself, where am I going to jump rope? Because I, I, I love doing it at the gym. You know, the, the, the surface at the gym was perfect, really, especially yeah. at the um, Gold's gym. Um, but I've, I've got these mats, like, you know, the foam, the, the jigsaw mats. In fact, the funny thing is, my, my husband bought me these mats. Oh, my God. He bought them years ago. Probably, he, he bought them. Yeah, he probably bought them four years ago when I started jumping because back in our place in Arlington, we've, we've got this condo that we're, had, we, that we're hardly ever there. We basically live at the beach house. Well, since COVID, we have anyway. And we have, we have hardwood floors there. And he didn't like me jumping on the hardwood floors. He didn't want me to mark them. So he got me these. <laughs> and I, but, yeah. I, but, I never, but I never used them because I never, I just then didn't jump when Stuart was in. I waited until Stuart had gone out. And then I jumped on the hardwood floors because I was too lazy to put the mats together. But I'm really pleased that he bought them and they were just gathering dust in the closet because they, they came in handy because like, what, March last year when we came back from Barbados, it's like, I need to be able to jump and I, and I can't just jump outside on the concrete. So I have these, in fact, I've, I've doubled up the mats. I, I have like, I've got six that are like, I think they're three quarters. And then we ordered some more which are half inch and I've taped them underneath. So I'm literally, it's like, it's, it's good for like, it's good for my old bones. Yeah, the mats are good. I mean, there's yeah. been, there's a lot of debate about whether or not you need a mat, but I, I think I'm, I lean more toward using a mat. Overall, yeah. Especially yeah. If, you, if you have injuries and also because it, it helps preserve the cord on your rope. Oh well, yeah, 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 it does. Yeah, I mean, th this cord, this cord, I, I mean, it's, it's getting ready to snap. It's got to be, it's like wearing really thin here. Yeah. But this, I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure it was like February. It wasn't February last year. I think it's, it's been going for it ever. And funnily enough, the, the whites, the, this cable is a new one and I replaced it yesterday. And previous to that, it was like 18 months. Well, that's like, but if I just, if I jumped on the concrete, that would literally just be beat up in a week. Yeah. And, yeah. and so it's, jumping on a mat is good for your ropes, but it's, it's, it's better for your bones too. Yeah. To joint, you know, um, yeah. it just is. Cause I, I, I think some people are not so keen on jumping on the mats, possibly like how I wasn't initially. So when Stuart bought me the mats, and it wasn't so much I was too lazy to put them together. It's like I felt that that I was the mat was making me trip up more. But sure. the mat wasn't the mat wasn't. It was the fact that I was just tripping up. So, but it was something psychological. It's like oh no, when I jump on the mat, I, t I tend to trip more. But that's all in your head because like you know, I jump on the mats now, and I don't trip that yeah. often. You know, it's I think it's something psychological that. Um, no, that's that is yeah. You're right. It is like I mean, you got to be able to adapt to whatever yeah. you got to adapt to. You know, yeah. It's yeah. just the way. So you have to you just have to have the attitude that if I need to jump on a mat, then I'm going to find a way to make it work. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because I I used to feel that that the the rope was getting caught on the corner of the mat, but it's still they, they don't. You know, they just don't. I mean, the, the mats are a godsend. I'm, I'm just really pleased I've got the mats. Do you know, and the funny thing is now, when eventually COVID goes, like, whenever, um, and we get back to, like, our normal lives, and we get back to, to going to the gym, I don't think I'm going to jump at the gym anymore. I, I've, I've really enjoyed jumping in, in the fresh air. I mean, I, yeah. I, I like, this last, last year, I've jumped outside when it's been, like, 100 degrees and, like, 100% humidity and I've just been like sweating like a mofo and then I've jumped outside when it's freezing and, I, and when it's cold and the rope hits you it just hurts more because it's ha it, it's like they're, they're stiff as a board aren't they in the, in the yeah. when it's cold and like <laughs> they sure. really hurt um but like I've jumped in cold in hot and I just I like I, I just like the freedom of taking my mat out there and just doing it in the sunshine it's um i, I, I mean I, I don't even know if i'll bother doing the gym again to be honest i've got yeah. you know i 
I've got all this. I'm just, I, I, although never say, never say never. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know, never say never. I think you're right. I mean, I think a lot of people are feeling like that after, yeah. after not being able to go to the gyms. And then yeah. you have all these companies like Peloton who have capitalized yeah. and even Crossrope yeah. has really capitalized. I mean, because Jump Rope yeah. can do it anywhere. So a lot yeah. of these Jump Rope companies have seized the opportunity for the gyms being yeah. closed to to yeah. use that as their marketing platform. And so yeah. I'm I'm right there with you. I mean, we we yeah. have home gym equipment now yeah. and you can just get your jump yeah. rope on outside. And yeah. like, even if you live in a cold area, like where we live, you can mm -hmm. still do it and it's not really an issue. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've, I mean, you can't see, but obviously like, you know, you see behind me, but this this beach house isn't really a beach house it's like it's a gym now because like my husband's got his he's got the bench over there he's got the dumbbell rack with his dumbbells we've got the kettlebells upstairs in the loft area we've got all the hoops and i've got my kettlebells and dumbbells and you know it's i've got my trx strap permanently hanging from one of the doors upstairs oh, yeah i've got under the house i have one of the trx um the x mounts so in the summer, I can work out under the house. Uh, and, you know, it's like, so I, I, don't, I just don't know about the gym at all. Yeah, it's yeah. Gonna, it's which is a shame because, yeah. yeah. People are probably not going to go back as they did because they've been finding out ways to work out yeah. at home, yeah. which, is, which is, I'm glad that people have done that. They, and they have said to themselves, well, I'm not going to let the gym being mm. closed get in the way of me, work, of me working yeah. out. So I'm going to find yeah. a way. That, 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 was, that, that was one thing um, in March last year when we came back from Barbados. We came back early due to COVID because we just thought, you know what, we, we, need, we need to get back to the US before they close, you know, yeah. you know before like it hits the fan sort of thing. Uh, you know, the gym was a big part of mine and Stuart's life. We go to the gym every day. Or we did go to the gym every day. And I was just worried that like, oh God, with no gym, what we're going to do? Yeah. You know, it's okay. I had, we had... I, I had kettlebells that he bought me years ago for Christmas, which they were with the mats in the closet gathering dust because I never, I, I, I never worked out at home. I, you know, it's like he bought me a whole set of kettlebells because I decided I wanted to do kettlebells and, uh, and I, I only ever used the ones at the gym. So like, luckily we had, we had some kettlebells and I, I, ordered a TRX strap while we were in Barbados. So I had this TRX strap. So I had some form of exercise and obviously the rope, um, cause it, it was like, just really strange not to have something taken away from you that you lo love doing every day. Yeah. It was hard. Yeah, and then we had to make a conscious effort to, cause like, you know, you, when you go into the gym, you get ready, you go to the gym, you're going out, you, 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 you're doing it, but to, make a conscious effort to do something in your own home it it takes more i don't know it's it's what 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 i ended up doing was i just thought right if i don't put on my gym stuff in the morning i'm oh, not going to yeah. i'm not going to do it so I literally i think it was for the first 6 weeks i just literally every morning i just lived in my gym stuff because it's like all right if i've got my gym stuff on i'm going to at some point do do something uh, and it worked out pretty well to be honest um so yeah. that was that was your strategy to make to, sure that you did your yeah. exercises, you know? yeah. Yeah. to make sure that I'm dressed for it, um, because I just knew that if I didn't, I'd be like, mm, oh, I can't. Be. <laughs> oh, and, and that's not the right attitude, and you know, it, it would it would affect me mentally too, because like you know, like I said, exercises, it's a way of keeping sane. Yeah. No, you're exactly right. No, but it's good that you figured out what what you personally needed to do yeah. to make sure that you got your exercise in daily yeah. because of the the change in situation because the gym was yeah. such a big part of your life. That's that's fantastic. Yeah. 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 I mean, we've added we've added other things that we do now. Like we we have bikes. We had we had bought bikes years ago, but we've used our bikes last year like so much. Like we love going in on bike rides and we do walks on the beach um it's just basically getting out and getting some fresh air because like like i said th these times are so crazy you know basically it's just been me and Stuart in our little bubble 
uh, it feels like for the last 20 years, but it's like, you know, since last March, it's, it's, um, it's difficult. Yeah, it's, it's been difficult for yeah. a lot of people, but you just, what you got to yeah. do is like you're doing, you have to, you have to think outside the box and just find yeah. a way to get moving and stay active. Got to do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So, I, bet, yeah. I, I, I bet for a lot of people it's hard, you know, some people, I, I bet, you see, like, not, see, not everybody likes, not everybody likes going to the gym. Some people just go to the gym because they feel they have to and they don't even enjoy it when they're there. And for, I think for those sort of people, it's like, you know, the gym's being closed. It's like, okay, the gym's closed now. I don't need to exercise. Yeah. Um, well, like I said, me and my husband are gym rats. We just like it. That's the way to do it. Yeah. yeah. So for the, I was wondering also about the, we had talked last time about the hula hoops. And I'm wondering if you could talk about because those are really interesting because I've seen you do those and and the hula hoops are kind of like kind of like jump rope because it's something that you only that a lot of people think only kids can do but when I saw yeah. you doing the hula hoop I was amazed I was like how does she do that for how did you learn that so quickly so yeah, could you, know, you talk about why you started it and then how it helped yeah. you with jump rope yeah well the hoop now the funny thing is like um with the hoops uh, I think because I could jump rope, it's made it easy for me to do the hoop. Now, this lady, B, B Varga, she's called, she's, um, she lives in Latvia and she's, she's on Instagram and she's on YouTube. She's B Varga the Hula Hooper. And um, she just recently um, contacted me via Instagram because I'd like, literally, so I've been, I've been hooping now for probably four and a half months. And she spotted one of my posts on Instagram and like sort of like realized that mm, like this lady is nearly 60. Um, oh yeah, nearly 60. Age is just a number. And she's been doing it for less than four months and she can do this. So she approached me and asked to do an interview. And I was a bit like this about doing it because like I just, I don't know, I don't I, I, don't, I wasn't sure if I was going to do, but anyway, long story short, I did. And she did, she's done like a little, she's done like a 14 minute video of like, you know, she, she gave me these questions and I sort of talked about, you know, what made me get the hula hoop and blah, blah, blah. And she sort of, she did that um, just so that people my age, if they see it, they can just, you know, it, see that you don't you're never too old to learn something new right. um she did but she's she's got quite a few followers and she just wanted to inspire older people just like pick up the hoop don't give up so like i said so like, I, like i got the hoop and i and i was in, and i was inspired to buy a hoop because i literally saw somebody on facebook doing it and it was somebody um in the jump rope group that the one that Bernadette Henry um oh yeah Bernadette yeah. Created. so this lady I think she's called Dina um she posts like daily videos and she she obviously does the rope and but she's got this big hula hoop and she does like 10 minutes of hooping and I just I looked in it and I thought oh I'm gonna I'm, I need to I need to have a go at that I just you know yeah because I COVID's just made it's, it's just been so boring last year so yeah, I just thought, sure. I'll, I'll have a go. So I did. Um, and then it's like with the jump rope, I just had to learn different things. But I think I found it easy to do the hoop because A, I like music. I've, got, I've definitely got rhythm. And if you've got rhythm, it's easier to keep it up. And also, the, just because... It, the the hoop and the jump rope the jump rope seem to go hand in hand. Um, B the, the lady B Varga, she started hooping first. She's been hooping for about twenty odd years, um, and then she picked up the jump rope because she said it's really fun. She's like, I started hooping and then I did the jump rope, and like you've done it the opposite way around. And she's really good at the jump rope too. Um, so I, th I think if you can, I think if you can I think if you can hula hoop and you can hula hoop good you'd be good at jump rope and vice versa. It's, 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 it's definitely um, similar to, it's, it's muscle memory. 
jumping ropes muscle memory isn't it because like yeah. you, you your your arms you don't you don't think when you're doing a side swing that you you don't think what you're doing it's just like your body does it uh, and with the hoop it's like when you doing the moves like so when I'm moving up to the shoulders I don't think that I'm like putting this arm in and doing this I'm just doing it now if you know what I mean yeah that makes um, sense yeah because I don't think a lot of people would be able to see the parallels and the similarities there yeah. but you're but you're right yeah. you, you're you're moving the rope so fast and you're having to twirl the hoop so yeah. fast that you can't yeah. think about it you yeah. have to just you have to have it with the muscle memory yeah, yeah. Yeah, and wow. it's it's the, same, it's the same with the hoop because like just recently I learned how to like I love the shoulder hooping, so I learned how to do that. But then I wanted to not just let the hoop go down; I wanted to take it over my head and do whatever move it's called. Yeah. So then, and then I finally managed to do that. But now um, I don't even think I just literally the hand just goes up and it just does it. Yeah. But wow. when you and it's that's just like with with the rope you when I was learning with the rope, then it's like, when you, when you say, for example, doing the cross up, it's like you're doing like one jump, then cross. And you, you, you're saying it to yourself, but now it's like, you just, you do it. And you, it's just, it's just muscle memory. It's right. the, the more, you, the more you do something, the more you practice, it's just there. You know, it's like, I, neglect, I neglected my jumping um, when I got the hoops. Cause like, it was like, I was, I was like a kid with a new toy and I was just like hooping all day. Um, so like I was doing my rope maybe once a week. In fact, I even went two weeks without doing the rope. Yeah. Um, and then when I picked the rope up again, I was thinking, oh, I, I haven't forgot how to do it, but you know what? No, it's just, it's all, it's all in there. And you just, the brain tells the hands what to do. Um, right. yeah. Yeah, wow. it's like, I don't think it's something I'll ever forget, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you took a two week break and then, but you had already yeah. done all the practice. So it didn't, yeah, it took yeah. You no time to get right back into it. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. So I think one thing a lot of people would like to know, one thing I, I would like to know is at, at the age you're at now, how do you deal with the injury? You were talking about your hands and your condition with your hand. How do you, how do you deal with that and the other? The other injuries that seem that would get most people down and most people would would say they couldn't do it anymore because they're facing the same things how do you deal with that what are some strategies you use to deal with that so you can keep jumping well i think my strategy is basically um like say for example the knee um at the moment i, I just recently probably about three weeks ago had another gel shot in it and it worked, the gel shots, the gel shots, teeth back in, work for about a week, two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so like now I'm limited to, like, I love walking on the beach, but I can't go every day now with my husband because I don't want, my, my knee hurts. And then I don't want to not be able to jump rope. And the, the weird thing is that even if my knee's hurting walking, I can still jump. And I think that's because literally I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm just literally jumping up and down and I'm just doing the boxer step. And sometimes I'll put a knee support on because um, I don't jump. If, 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 I've, if I've got pain in my knee, I won't jump when it's hurting. But if I put a, sport, a, a support on it, um, I can do it. Um, so and as far as the hand goes, well, I mean, it's just... I, I haven't seen anybody about it. Every every time I go for my annual physical, um, my doctor always says, oh, I can refer you to a hand specialist, but like, I've got arthritis. I mean, what are they gonna do? I, I don't take, I, I don't, I'm not this, I, I don't take tablets. I don't take pills. Like, you know, I try, I like, I, I stretch my hands out and I try and, you know, if, if I really stretch like that hurts, like that is like, hurts like whatever but I, I, I do it um like some days I, I can have I can I don't know it's it's it's, it's age it's arthritis I've got my mum's hand my mum's 93 and you want to see her fingers they're all over the place <laughs> but she's but she's still she's still going uh, and as long as I can and as long as I can hold on to my handles my jump rope handles that's all that matters and I tend to wear I wear my gym gloves when I'm jumping partly now, 
partly because it's easier to grip with, with the gym gloves on and partly because when it's hot, my hands, I swear it's like crazy in the summer when, when I'm out jumping, you know, you could ring me out after I've finished and the, <laughs> the handles used to slip out of my hands. It was, yeah. it, it was very frustrating because um, I, 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 ne I never used to jump with my gloves on. I used to just save my gloves when I was doing, you know, like weights and what have you. Um, but I remember doing one of my, per trying to get a personal best of crossovers and just before I reached my personal best and like broke a record, the handle slipped out of my hand because oh. the handle was wetty. So, you know, with the gloves on, that doesn't yeah. happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's nothing worse than like, oh, I'm losing the grip. I'm losing the grip. It's sliding yeah. out of wow. my hand. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. so you have, so those are, so I think that, I think that's really inspirational because I think that when when people watch your videos, at least when I watch your videos before we had started talking, I never, never would have imagined that you were dealing with those things. And so yeah. I think it's really inspirational. And but how do you keep a positive attitude through through that? And how do you keep uh, what how do you keep coming back? I think it's because I, I just love exercise that much that I just, you know, it's like if, for example, today when I'm doing the hoop, I was outside and my hands were really cold and this one was so painful, but I still I still did my hoop for 30 minutes, even though what like you know, doing holding it and like twirling it around hurt because like and th this finger gets in the way because this finger doesn't like to bend. Um but I just I just it's okay the hurt. It could be worse. I, I could I could wake up every morning and not get out and not be able to get out of bed. I don't I, I think that you know a bit of arthritis in my hand and like as I as I refer to my knee as I, like I've got a dodgy knee. <laughs> I'm I'm lucky because there there are some people that literally do wake up every morning and literally can't get out of bed. So yeah. I, I I'm 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 lucky and. I, there's an advertisement on TV, that, and I love it. I don't know what they're advertising. It's some form of God knows what. But it's like a body in motion stays in motion. A body at rest stays at rest. And I, and I just think, yeah, you've got to keep going. Yeah. You know, you've got to keep moving. Yeah, that is that is great. That's a yeah. great philosophy. I yeah. think that, yeah, I mean, I couldn't have said it any better than that. I mean, that's mm. something that a lot of people... I know can take to heart something I can take to heart if I ever whenever I don't feel like getting up yeah. and working out yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm, I'm just thankful every morning that like that I can that I wake up and I can that I'm you know okay like the hand still hurts the knee hurts but I can get out of bed and I can do stuff you know I, I'm I, I think I'm lucky <laughs> you know yeah. I, I really do um you know I, I can't I can't imagine being not not being able to do what I can do and I think and I think a lot of it's in your mind yeah. isn't it there are there are people my age that I used to go to school with and I like I see them on Facebook and I don't recognize them it's like they yeah. you know each to their own some people just don't want to do stuff do they but um you know I do and I enjoy it I mean the the, the, the other day we were we, we were travel we traveled back to Arlington just for a couple of days and I was in, we were in the garage area and I had my hoops with me. And what blessing, one of the guys that lives in our condo building, um, and I don't think he meant to upset me, but he said, he looked at the hoops and he went, um, well, aren't those for children? You too, you, you're too old to be hooping. <laughs> now, I didn't have, I'm the type of person, I will think of a really witty reply after the fact. Yeah. And what, I, and what I really yeah. should have said to him, which I didn't <laughs> say to him, was like, you know what, Ken, I still hope to be hooping when I get to be as old as you, but I didn't say anything. Um, but I just, you know, you just don't listen to people. I do, and I, I, I really should have said, well, you know what, Ken, just watch what I can do with these damn things. Yeah. But some people just, well, I think old people just open the mouth, don't they? And like, they have, they have no, they, I think the older people get, they have no filters. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I, I forgive. Yeah, no, yeah. It's just, you know, when people like, make statements like that, they just yeah. it's there. Yeah. Sometimes I think it's like their way of trying to relate, and they have don't really have very good social skills. 
know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like you, you should just never listen to people anyway. I, I don't. That's In fact, right. you know, some my <laughs> I'm the type of person that if somebody tells me I can't do that, I'm gonna go and do it. You know, it's like don't tell me I can't do it because I'm gonna do it. Um, I'll, I'll just do the opposite to what they say. Um, that's that's just me. <laughs> that's another. That's another good way of going about. Yeah. Things. Yeah, it can it can actually make you make you inspired and angry yeah. enough to go out and put in the work to get yeah. the job yeah. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's great. That is oh. great. But I think we My got. Mom, yeah, oh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, I was just they the other day when I was talking to my mum back in the UK, yeah. um, and she said, um, I, I asked my sister to show her the video that B Varga did. I said, you know, I said, look, you know, try and, you know, if she can watch the full 14 minutes too. So she, she did watch it and she says, oh, but you, you got, you're going to damage your hips. This is <laughs> oh, you'll damage your hips. I said, look, yeah. mum, I said, I've been active, like really, um, seriously, since, since I'd say um, my late 30s. And I've always done stuff. So it's like, I'm not suddenly gonna hurt my hips by hula hooping, but she's, she just worries about me because I'm so many millions of miles away, aren't I? Because yeah. of the pond. And you know, that's what mums do, don't they? But, uh, oh, I'm worried about you, don't you? You'll, you'll break something. <laughs> and she wasn't yeah. meaning like a hoop fell off me. She was meaning I was gonna break some part of me. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's that's a good story. Though. But but didn't you, but we were talking before. Didn't you say that when when you went to the doctor, they actually saw, did an exam on your bones, and your bones were oh, denser yeah. from yeah, jumping yeah. rope? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I think it was. I've, I've had two bone density tests due to the you know the age that I am, and the first one came back and that was good. But then the second one, and I think it was two years later, was even better, and that's due to the rope. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A lot of that yeah. they talk about, they write about that online, but mm. never, but you're the first person who's at, that I know who I've yeah. actually talked to who's come yeah. back and who's living proof that yeah. it actually does work, that jump rope does work with it increasing does work. density. Yeah. And especially when you're like my age and you know, you, well, you've gone through the change and you can't even remember when you went through it. It's that many years ago. Um, and, and there's one other thing also, like run, you get this through running, but I think this is like in like um, what it is. It's like you know, like your resting heartbeat. Yeah. Uh, pulls. Mine is so low. My my resting heartbeat gets as low as uh, thirty nine. Whoa, that is very low. Yeah. And that and that is due to the rope. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's like, uh, what, 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 it was a that while is, ago. I had, I, had some, I, had, wow. I had some, yeah, I had some procedure a while ago, maybe a year ago. And like when they did, like when they did my blood pressure and like the, like my heart rate, and it's like, oh, it's really low this. And we were a bit worried. They said, well, um, I've got the heart rate of a trained athlete, basically. I said, like, yeah. I told them what they did, like, you know, um, I used to run, I do the rope. Oh, no, that's okay. Well, we're not worried about you then. 39, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, Cause that you know, is, whew, wow. what, 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 what's annoying about that is that, and it's not really annoying, it's a bit silly this. Like I have the Apple Watch. So when I go for a walk and I set it on outdoor walk, it never registers the exercise minutes because my heart rate never gets above like 80. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I'm doing like an hour of exercise and silly Apple Watch says I've done nothing. Yep, um, yeah, they can't track it. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, that's, that's you, you, think, you would think that they could sort this out. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the watch is like, they're not cheap. You know, it's like, that's, that's one of my bugbears about the Apple Watch that when I do a walk, it, it says I've done nothing. Yeah, I mean, they don't have, I think that you're so far on the, extreme that they don't they haven't programmed the watch to recognize someone that has a low as low a resting heart rate as, as yeah. that. that's yeah. i mean that's a resting heart yeah. rate of, of an olympic athlete i think they're down in the yeah. 30s a lot yeah. Yeah. yeah wow wow that's fantastic yeah so, 
I think we, we got time for one more question yeah. and it's probably the, it's the catch all question. So, uh, so for everyone listening, what, what advice would you have for people who are just starting with jump rope or just starting an exercise routine in general, who are looking to make a change in their health and their fitness? Right, right. Advice. Well, I would, the, the advice I would definitely say to them, whatever you choose to do, do not overdo it. Like yeah. if you've never exercised for, you know, don't go like a bull in a china shop and do it this day, that day, have a rest in between. Right. For example, if you, if you, if I would, if I was like advising somebody who would just start a jumping rope, and from my own experiences and how I've been injured, I would say literally do five minutes or maybe 10 minutes. Make sure you, 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 you stretch out, make sure you foam roll, uh, maybe even a hot bath. Um, and then don't do it the day after, maybe have two days off. Um, you know, take it slowly. You, you, your body, your calf muscles, need time to get used to the new move yeah. so that that would definitely um be one thing i'd say and i'd also say like you don't need to buy a really expensive rope yeah that's right um and you don't need special you don't need special shoes either i when i started jumping i thought that I needed special shoes. I didn't. I just needed to stop tripping over the rope. My my normal running shoes or my normal shoes that I use at the gym are fine. Um, and you don't. And it's and it's not the rope you're using. It's the person that's using the rope. Yeah. Um, so like you know, you don't need to spend. You don't need to break the bank on expensive ropes. I mean, that that's one thing that I love about buy jump ropes. I think like the boxes is like under ten dollars, yeah. and also what I'd like to say about these ropes, as opposed to other ropes that are you know this the, the five millimeter cord. I like I've never had one of these ropes break off at the handle, yeah. ever. But I've had, uh, well no I haven't had. Oh no I think that the the pro freestyle one did break over the handle ones but these because of how they fix you know yeah. the rope is going to break eventually but it's going to break in the middle where you're jumping over it uh, there's nothing more annoying that it, than it breaking off a brand new like cord breaks off here and then you know you've sized the rope and then it's too small um yeah. so I'd, I'd say i'd say just you know you don't need you don't need an expensive jump rope when you get your jump rope, size it, size it, you know, go on YouTube and like, you know, somebody will tell you where it's supposed to come up to. Cause like, it can be frustrating if you're trying to jump with a longer rope and, and things like that could put people off. Like, oh, I can't do it. Um, you know, the rope's too, well, the rope's too long. Or the, if, the, if the rope's too short, you're never going to jump over it, are you? No. Um, just trying to think of something else. Uh, yeah, the, the, the stretching, the foam rolling. Don't overdo it. Listen to your body. If if you've been if you've been jumping and you feel like if you've got a pain in your calf, stop jumping. <laughs> you know, take it from me. Stop jumping. I didn't stop jumping, and it, then at one point, I think I was out of action for nearly three weeks. And it's like mm, it's not worth it. Um, you know, just take it easy. Um, I can't think of anything else to say, to be honest. Um, I'm not very good at giving advice. No, that uh, was great. That, that, yeah. that was all great advice because those are things that a lot of, I mean, you'll get your normal advice. Just, mm. just go after it. Don't take, try not to take too many days off. Get out there every yeah. day. I mean, yours, yours was, yours comes from a different point of view. Yeah. And, and I, and I think it's I'd valuable. Also, I'd also just add that, you know, don't let anybody tell you you're too old to do something. Yeah, that's right. Because, that's right. because you're not. I mean, <laughs> I picked up the rope at the age of 56 years old, <laughs> 56. And, you know, people would come up to me. Uh, so one, once I've been doing it for, I reckon about six months, eight months, and I'd be in the gym 
and people would approach me and they'd say, oh my God, like you're really good. How long you've been doing it? I'll say, and I'd say, oh, uh, eight months now. And they say, oh no, you, mu you must've done it as a kid. You must've done it as a kid. <laughs> like, no, no. So you, you're, never too, you're never too old to learn something. Um, and I've, I've proved that with the rope and I'm proving it now with the, with the <laughs> loops. That's I mean, right. I, yeah. I don't know. I'm good. I have no idea what I'm going to do next. Maybe, maybe I do what B did and I go and join the circus. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> hey, well, I mean, with the attitude you have, you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, learning, I don't, learning those I, skills I, later I, on I in hope, life. I hope my husband's not listening in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's I don't, great, Diane. I don't think I'm going to join the circus. Maybe he's a clown. <laughs> no, no. Well, oh, yeah. no, I really, I do appreciate you taking the yeah. time to be interviewed yeah. here. I think yeah. a lot of people are going to find find what you have to say very helpful yeah. and, and appreciate really it. Thank the point you. Of view. Yeah. yeah. I, I thank you for asking me. And I, I've, um, I was, I was actually dreading it, and I was thinking, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be so nervous. Um, but you're really easy to talk to. You're a great oh. guy to talk to, and you just. You know, if I was going to be nervous, my nerves all disappeared when you come on the screen. So thank you. Know, thank you. Oh, good. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad about that. It's all about people coming on. And yeah. so you want to always share, have, have people come on and share their experiences. And, yeah. And if I can put people at ease for them to be able yeah. to do that easy and with a little bit better if they're nervous, then that's my, yeah. really my only job here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would just like to inspire older people to start doing something like this because, yeah. like I say, you, you're never too old at all. You know, age is just a number. Always, always act your shoe size. That's my philosophy. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. I got to keep that for myself. You know. <laughs> oh, dear. But, yeah, if you want to, I'm just going to, I'll edit this part out. But yeah. But then I'll do, so thanks again. I'll, I'll yeah. say go back on but if you want to yeah. I you don't have to get off of the phone as soon as I shut it off I'm just going to stop the recording yeah yeah and okay. I, I need to I need to my husband keeps peeping over the banisters he's like he's hungry I, I oh, fed yeah. him. okay <laughs> all right well, we'll do the uh, formal goodbye then starting yeah. now so Diane thanks a lot for joining I really appreciate it we'll stay yeah. in touch well, and keep yeah. up the great work well, thank you. I've really enjoyed myself. Um, yeah, it's been great. It's been great chatting with you. And I hope that um, I've inspired somebody to pick up the rope uh, or maybe join the circus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure you have. Hey, take it easy and stay safe okay. out there. Okay, you too. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Bye.